y'all and welcome to my channel welcome to my channel welcome to my channel what's up y'all like the remix yeah it's that it's the remix for me <laughs> but what's up y'all and happy new year this is my first video of 2021 i believe so happy new year y'all hope this new year brings you lots of love happiness peace money abundance 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 i hope this is the year y'all boss up y'all become closer to yourselves your family i know 2020 was rocky and all over the place but we bring it in new and better energy this year period so i'm starting the year off with my top 10 date ideas i'm gonna have some clips of some of the dates that i actually went on in this video so y'all can see for couples and for friends come on now we gotta show love to the singles we gotta show love to the singles and i also have some honorable mentions places i haven't been yet but i definitely want to go because i've heard some good things so let's get into the video but before we get into the video make sure to turn on my post notifications y'all be playing with me because i can see who turn them on turn it on so y'all can get notified every single time i post if you watch every video you might as well okay so the first place is gravelly point it's in virginia first of all so freaking beautiful like can we just get into the scenery like can we get y'all see it let me move over can we get into the scenery because it's so beautiful it's an airport close by so you get to see the planes literally flying above you it's so cute so romantic fire Love it there you can have a picnic bring some canvases to paint and sit have a girl's day have a girl chat catch up have a romantic it's just cute next is scott's run nature preserve i actually have a very interesting and funny day experience at that spot y'all will see in a future video <laughs> it's like a nice waterfall you can take pictures you can chill you're really not supposed to go in it but shit i was in it just be safe you know just be safe um don't go too far the 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 bottom is very sharp and rocky so you probably don't even want to go in but it's beautiful nice scenery a hotel staycation it's a date for me yup it's a date for me a weekend getaway a weekend getaway these are the type of dates i like okay hotel staycations if you you or your significant other or your friends got money to spend this is really good with friends too because y'all get to split the um because y'all get to split the amount of the room um way easier sometimes you don't want to be in the house sometimes you want some alone time so grab your girls grab your boo get a cute little hotel in the area or a little bit out of your city and have a hotel staycation we love it there <laughs> we love it there it used to be the breakfast for me but now they just be giving us muffins and to go shit so eh. but it's just nice to you know get away even if you want to do it by yourself a paint and sip so this is actually what i did for my 20th birthday shout out to those that were there a paint and sip is such like a cute event like no matter who you're with we used to do it a lot at morgan it was really fun like and once you start getting into it it's therapeutic and then you just create a shit you didn't think you could create and then you can put it on your wall it's so cute you get to get a little tipsy so a cooking class or a food festival probably not i don't we're not doing that right now it's winter and corona so i don't know if people are having things like that but a great summer day street festivals are literally my favorite if you're that type of person that likes to like dibble and dabble in like different cultures and things like that food festival really nice you can find like food festivals and events like that on like eventbrite i was heavy on eventbrite cooking classes and like little different workshops that you're interested in download the app mind body health go-karting i love go-karting it's super super fun it's affordable like it's really cheap i'm very competitive so i love me a nice go-kart race and i win every time 
<laughs> this is a go to the National Harbor. Um, the National Harbor or Georgetown Waterfront. I haven't been there, but I've heard of there. Uh, but the harbor is like a go to place. Always fun. People. Nice vibes. Nice scenery. It's a bunch of things to do. You can take pictures. You can get on the rides. You can just walk around. You can eat. They're at the water. It's really beautiful. Get on the Ferris wheel. We love that. There's this one gym, Piscataway Park. Super beautiful. Like, I'm not even gonna say nothing. Just look. <sighs> so beautiful. So beautiful. These are the places I like to go. Like, just to chill. You can have a picnic there. You could just look at the water. It's beautiful i love places like that last one is top golf um another one is golf dc I haven't been to golf dc but i've been to top golf top golf is a little it's a little too expensive though that's not like a a frequent date that's definitely something you go you do once in a while um it's fun the scenery is different it's nice competitive which i like even though i cannot golf for nothing i can't golf you don't got no food no so here are some honorable mentions that i have not been yet but i need to go okay i'm ready to go y'all hear that I'm ready to go. The first one is Lorray Caverns. So I heard about this from a couple on YouTube. It's literally an underground cave. And they turned it into like a tourist attraction or whatever. And I need to go. I've seen pictures. I've seen videos. Who would think to go to an underground cave? I want to go like this. And I want to go at night. <laughs> the next is Warehouse Cinemas. This is a movie theater, but it kind of looks industrial. I'm pretty sure it's in a warehouse. Um, and I think they serve you food and it's supposed to be like a good vibe. Different from like your typical movie theater. So yeah. Next is ice. So this is something that Gaylord does. If you live in the DMV, you know what I'm talking about. It's a hotel. It's basically like an ice wonderland. They have like big ice sculptures. Um, and it's supposed to be like really cold in there. So I think they give you like these special jackets or whatever. You can go ice tubing and like other stuff like that. I don't know what else they have, but I never really went because I don't like the cold. The last one is Urban Air Adventure Park. Y'all seen that video on Twitter like months ago, somebody posted and the person was like, it's like an obstacle adventure park-ish. And he was like flying or she was flying from the thing. It's like that, yeah. I don't know if that was it, but it's like that. They basically have a bunch of cool shit inside. So that's it for me, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down some more date ideas and places to go because I'm all for it. I'm ready to go. Make sure y'all stay tuned for my worst date experiences, okay? I gave y'all the good stuff. Now I'm about to tell y'all the, the foolery. And without further ado, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye, y'all.